Howdy caddies, weekly walkabout time with the collector. Hope you're going good. As per usual, we've been bloody busy this week. We've got lots of nice stuff. Lovely sterling silver page turner. Really nice silver, two really nice silver berry spoons. Norwegian silver enameled little coffee spoons. Some pickle forks in amongst there as well. There's a really nice little sterling silver a uh, little writing set there with a the lovely little hallmarked uh, silver bladed letter opener. Got some more Norwegian silver, little owl pepper pots, got a little bit of damage on the enamel. Sterling silver teaspoons, more sterling silver. Big heavy brass lizard, carved serpentine stone hippopotamus. Nice little gold scales in the box. Uh, opera glasses, really nice cigarette box with a nice little Ronson table lighter. Some really nice things in the jewellery cabinet. A nice little set of four teak dining chairs. <coughs> this nice little retro 50s print. Looks like a Trechikoff. Your friends wouldn't know it's not. This is cool. Rob Mack is the brand. 1970s. It's a little coffee table. I reckon it just needs a bit of glass inset into the top here. And that's nice as well, the McRobb Teak Veneer sideboard. So you've got the McRobb sideboard and you've got the Rob Mac coffee table. Nice little pair of sort of retro seagrass planters on their little separate wooden bases. This is nice, the Oriental, it's like a drinks cabinet. It's in great condition with the nice big heavy brass bands and hinges. And this is a beautiful little bit, little display stand, Victorian with the lift off, lift off top section. Got these lovely sort of stenciled fern fronds, another sort of native flowers, ripper of a bit. Big stainless steel sort of hospital trolley, some nice rugs, the Geelong RS and S woolen mills, nice little rocking chair, some cool cassette tapes, footy gear, records, some great footy gear. This is these are my favourite bits in the auction. Kevin Bartlett badge that some kid's got his texter out on. And Jeff Rains as well. And they're much of an improvement. <laughs> There's other good sort of sandful footy badges in here as well. Good group. Some more nice rugs. Good big lot of CDs, DVDs. And some games. Linen and some ladies' heels and shoes. A lot of pictures and prints. Japanese china, nice little 70s sort of chandelier with the wall sconces, what else have we got, lovely big Baltic pine kitchen dresser, he's a ripper of a bit, Edwardian gents chair with a nice little sort of hand crocheted tablecloth, cool little group of retro gear, little plastic tables are made by Willow, got some more nice blankets and rugs, records, Another good little group, lot of cassette tapes. There's some other nice postcards and things in here and groups of costume jewellery. Commemorative stuff. Good little group of ephemera. You've got a 1966 first semi-final record, Ford manual, the laws of football game, other footy records. It's a good little lot of books in ephemera. Victorian cedar chiffonier. That's really nice. Big Bakelite and Chrome standard lamp. Nice little sort of, I think a little Victorian actually. Little mahogany little bedside table there with the drop sides on it. Those are a nice set of six uh, hand coloured lithographs. They're re-strikes of the originals, but they are still lithos. What else have we got? Records, books, nice big Indonesian batik with a box of mixed items. Some equestrian gear. Guitar and an amplifier. Humphrey Bogart. There he is. Big laminated door poster. Pretty cool with his smoke. Little group lot of oil paintings. About 1900. 19 sort of 50s, 60s. And a nice sort of European one, which is signed but illegible. Uh, Australian historical books. Good lot of games and stuff. Um, linen and buttons. Big carboy lamp, nice outdoor bench. This is pretty cool, the frame 19, sort of 60s, 70s, three-dimensional cloth picture. 
You got big lots of crystal and English china and a nice big collection of EP and S with the spirit kettle, some other nice stuff. A Russian portable typewriter, nice little box, some other sort of carved wooden and stone items, copper coal scuttle, all the medicinal bottles and stuff, nice collection of brassware. Uh, this is a good little group with the stereoscope viewers and the nice green Bakelite Rathdown Club card box. Got some really nice paintings this week. John Borak, lovely sort of gouache. Uh, Douglas Pratt, little oil painting. I think it's in Brussels or Belgium. Um, Johnny McWalter, Catch in the Outfield. Really nice John Stachel watercolour. Looks to be sort of Bo Morris or something like that. Port Phillip Coastal. Love little Andrew Park. And this is nice, the W. Marshall Hughes, 1935 oil. Um, Louis Ewing, pair of American colour screen prints. They've both got a little bit of damage, unfortunately, but these are nice things. Some blue and white china. Another big lot of crystal. Costume jewellery, domestic glass. Cool little retro canister set. Some cool retro and other little cat salt and pepper shakers and stuff. Nice big West German handled vase. This thing's cool. The Richmond Tigers Barracas boot. There you go. It's got everything underneath what you can use it for. What are you going to do with your Barracas boot? There you go. Interesting thing. 19 sort of 80s. Got a little VFL emblem on the Tiger. Quite a rare thing. Can't find any other examples of a Richmond one. Uh, the old bowler hat's a ripper. All the details inside. He's a nice green sunbeam mix master. Australian pottery, the Fowler chocolate pot. Nice little pair of Baxter prints. Oh, here you go. The bell works. Bottle of Geelong Footy Club tawny port. Really nice print by the waters of Minnetonka. Little Native American Indian girl. Uh, the bottle of South Melbourne Swans Premiership port. Cool old Boomeroo cash register, decimal conversion model, B&O telephone, nice nickel-plated oil lamp and a nice Miller brass oil lamp, Bosley Australian pottery bread crock, collection of modern glass, nice Victorian oil lamp with the two others, marbles, English china, MCC centenary of test cricket, little drink set, been made by Elisha or someone like that, I reckon. There we go. English Art Deco China. European Ceramics. Dresden and Ladro. A couple of nice bits of Dalton Flow Blue. A little group of Victorian Ceramics. This little sort of figure's a bit unusual with the actual hair. English sort of Toby jugs and stuff. Sporting cards. This is a nice sterling silver mirror with a couple of nice little perfume bottles. Lovely pair of piano sconces. Sort of pub and alia with a nice Dalton tankard and the Dewar's white label decanter. Coloured glass, some brass aminals, cobra candlesticks. Good quality English, Royal Albert and the Chelsea, my Chelsea bird. These are nice as well, these little sort of miniature trees and the nice big sort of jade one. What else have we got? Fantastic straw boater hat. Really ripping condition with a nice old Foy's hat box. It's got all the labels and stuff inside. Nice big lot of Royal Albert, I think, nosegay. Another little Royal Albert part tea set. Kind of like this arts and crafts um, leaded terrain and that sort of metal mount. Nice little collection with the wine bottle coasters and the bucket and some little pourers in there. English hunting jug. Nice little Chinese ginger jar. Italian liqueur set. Victoriana, signed glass, a nice little orifice vase there, and the pair of candlesticks are both signed. Nice pair of old tins. These are a really nice little group, sort of Victorian, 1844. Little garniture vase set. This one's been restored, and so is the larger one. There is a diamond registration mark underneath the larger one. No branding. Great little pair of 19 sort of 30s Japanese cat and dog we've put with a nice little awaji pot more english china good quality you've got the really nice victorian pratt 
Um, little part tea set with the teapot there and a couple of trios. Really nice collection of cut crystal. Little Dalton figure, Miss Demure. We've got a really nice EPT service. A rare Wedgwood cabinet plate, Friar Tuck. Um, something with the Black Knight. So Friar Tuck and the Black Knight. This is a really nice old sort of educational school plate. It's got a little chip. Um, the silver overlay blue glass set. Lovely bit of Wedgwood. Another lovely bit of Wedgwood. I think the big bowl designed by Jasper Conran. Really nice hot water pot, American. Two Royal Copenhagen figures. Nice Roba teapot. Royal Crown Derby cutlery sets a ripper. A couple of nice Dalton figures. Two more bits of Royal Copenhagen. And we've got some lovely stuff at the top shelf. We've got some really nice bits of hand decorated china by Ethel Ubergang. This one is signed with the boats. We've put that one with the little floral vase. Now we have this one by her as well with the water lilies and the bees. Um, we have this vase by her, Ethel E. Ubergang. And this little littered pot's by her as well. And this pot, uh, bit is by, I think, Margaret Tompkins. There is a lid missing off this. And one of the little feet you can see there is damaged and glued back together. It's a beautiful bit. These are all lovely little bits. Bit of an overlooked medium, I reckon, in Australian art. The China Painters. You got two nice orifice candlesticks. You got the pair of the Victorian uranium glass vases. George Jensen candlesticks with some actual George Jensen candles. Another really nice bit, the Victorian inkwell, Royal Crown Derby, and the lovely big confectionery jar. That'll do. Hopefully you saw something you liked. Be good. See you guys tomorrow night.